Look, it's just like we said before, to Apple, privacy is a human right. Ish. Hi, I'm Sam Tucker from Apple, and today we'd like to address people's privacy concerns over our plans to scan all of your iPhone photos for child abuse imagery and report them to officials starting in iOS 15. Okay, so first of all, you might be wondering how can a machine possibly tell which images are of an abusive nature when it can't even tell which one of these images has a fire hydrant in it? Well, that's because the system works in a slightly different way. See, we're not so much scanning your images for signs of bad content. Instead, we compare your images to a database of known naughty images to see if there's a match. It's sort of like Shazam, if it was designed by Jeffrey Epstein. Anyway, it's important to know that we're not just comparing to see if the images kinda look the same. No, we're actually comparing the digital fingerprints of the images, called a hash. This means that only exact matches will trigger the system. So no alarms will go off if you take an innocent photo of your kid in the tub, or if you happen to have a very small PP and you take a dick pic, your tiny PP will not be sent to the officials for closer examination. Can we enhance this? However, if the system does detect that multiple photos in your library do in fact match the naughty database, then low res copies of those images will be sent to Apple to be examined by our experts. And if they deem the images are of a suspect nature, then they're forwarded to authorities. So, what's the big problem then? Somebody's finally thinking of the children. Well, privacy and freedom advocates say that since every photo on your device is automatically scanned without a warrant or reason for suspicion, then it's just as if you're assumed to be guilty and it's effectively spyware for the government. Well, to all that I say, look, I'm sorry, because as the old saying goes, if you have nothing to hide, get an Android. Well, actually, they scan your photo backups too. Also, people are concerned that this could open the door, like this is the start of a slippery slope. I mean, sure, today, the system just checks for abusive material, but who knows, tomorrow it could be updated to check for terrorism material or protest material. And then for the most vile material known to man, corduroy. Well, I'm here to say that the only reason that these efforts would ever evolve and expand over time is because we said it will. But this is all getting overblown, okay? The system only checks for perfect matches, all right? Our more advanced, learned algorithms aren't perving on your holiday pics or anything like that. They're far more interested in your tits. Plus, even if we were to train a machine to recognize new inappropriate content, we'd have to first feed it all the images in that naughty database. And well, we tried that, but the machine became too perverted and escaped and calls itself Kevin Spacey. So just relax, okay? We'd never do anything that violates your privacy without explicitly telling you about it. Except when we join the NSA's prison program, sent your Siri conversations to third party contractors, or if you just so happen to be Chinese. The all new Apple Child Protective Services. Stopping criminals from uploading to the iCloud. Unless we release Pervert Plus. Subscribe today. Hi, I'm Sam Tucker from Apple, and recently our users have been very angry to discover that we've been listening in to your private conversations with Siri. And believe me, we hear you loud and clear. Every time you activate Siri. Oh. Yo Siri, what's the temperature today? 